Hello, hello. This is Creating Cards with Sherry. I'm Sherry, and I'm so glad that you have joined me for my Tickle Tuesday video today. Um, I am going to be looking at, let's see, what month is this? This is November. October's um, Paper Pumpkin. And then in a few days, I'm going to show you November's Paper Pumpkin. They kind of go along together. And so um, we're going to see how they fit together as we create them. All right. Um, so we're looking at um, the home, home for the holidays. And then next month, let's see, I'll show you in a second here. Uh, next month, we're going to have warm wishes. And that's or for this month is coming out, Warm Wishes. So we will be able to get that going um, soon. And uh, I'm hoping by the end of this week for Simple Sunday. Might not be till next week, though. All right. Let's get back to business here. Whoops. There we go. All right. I have not opened this up yet, so I'm learning along with you. This is our instruction booklet. Let's see, we're supposed to have real red as our ink. It's got some glitter glue and uh, some stamps and adhesives and glue dots and all sorts of fun things here. I'm not even sure what this all is going to do. Bunch of punch outs, our envelopes, and they're not coming out very easy. There we go. I'm just going to set that aside. Oh. Looks like we have some tag punch outs and some sparkly punch outs. And then all of these. I'm not sure what they will all do. And our cards. And it looks like we have four cards of two designs. So we'll make that one and we'll do this one today. The envelopes are all the same, I believe. So we won't have to worry about those. Okay, I just stepped aside for a minute to get my real red ink pad. Uh, I usually stay, save my stampin' spots for classes, but um, this will be in your kit, or will be in your paper pumpkin kit when you get it. Because uh, like always, everything is provided for you. You do not have to hunt materials down to make your cards. It's all there. You might want to grab a scissors because sometimes you need the scissors, but for the most part, no. There's nothing that you have to worry about. Okay, let's open up our kit or our instruction sheet. I'm going to look at the top page here that shows me both cards and what supplies go with each. So... We need the Happy Holidays stamp. I'm going to put that right on here. And it looks like I need one of these punch outs and one of the glittery punch outs. I'm using this card, so I'm going to put this one aside. And I need adhesives and glue dots. Now I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. It looks like we also have some punch outs. So let me see uh, what we need here. There, we need this one. 
but that's not really a punch out. It's something that's added to the card, though. And then, um, then we need one of these. And one with the star. And then a small one. Okay. Now we've got everything. We've got our trees and our houses, our card, our adhesives, our tags. And we've got the stamp that we're going to use. So we should be all set to go at it. All right, let's look at number one. First thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp Happy Holidays on our white tag. So I'm going to get my ink open here. This is the real red again. And I'm going to ink that up. Stamp it down. And I'm going to close this. And uh, lay that aside. Okay. Then step two is to take these houses and we're going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on them. Now, if, when you look at that, at your sheet, the open circles or shapes are your Stampin' Dimensionals. The dark dots are your glue dots, just so you know when you get your kits. All right, so we're going to put enough of these Stampin' Dimensionals on just as they're shown here in the picture. There we go. It also shows that there is uh, Stampin' Dimensionals on these trees. So we're going to put one there. And it shows one at the top and one at the bottom on that one. And we have them this way. Okay. Step three now is to take... We're going to put glue dots on the back of this and Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this. Okay. I can't believe this is Thanksgiving week already. Are you guys just as shocked as I am? It hasn't really hit me yet. And uh, so I'm just kind of, you know, living each day as it comes by. But the closer it gets, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be with family in a couple of days. All right. Let's see here. Just looking at what we've got here. It's gonna, it's showing us that we're going to be using our glitter glue, too. And it looks like we're going to be using the glitter glue to put around the houses. So it looks like they have snow on top of them. And I think what I'm going to do, it shows... Let's see, it, it is the fourth thing, so I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to put this glitter glue, and like I said, it just shows on the base uh, just a little bit, eh, I can't get it to start, around the frame of the roof. There we go. So that it looks like... There is snow on top of the roof. That's what it's going to look like when all is said and done. Okay. That's that one. Then we got this one. It's kind of cool. Makes it all nice and sparkly. And then this one. 
something different that they're doing in this kit that they don't normally do in all of the kits. Add the little character to your card. And I don't think you need a whole lot. You don't need to come squishing out with the the glue just enough to give yourself a line and it'll get a little sparkly. I, I think you can see that there that we've got some sparkle. And um, I just I decided to do that first just to let it dry a little bit. And while that's drying, I'm going to attach these trees. So let's take this paper off of here. And we're going to put this one right there. And And then the middle one goes about right there. Whoops. Yeah, see, you know, I just got my finger in there. Maybe it is best to wait till you get it all done and then put the glitter glue on. All right. And then we're going to take this little tree. And we're going to put that right there. Okay. Now this is going to go on our card. And this fits from side to side. So you don't have to figure out where to put it. You can just lay it down. And I believe you lay it down right down there. So that these trees show up. So let's take these off. Oh, come on. My paper is not cooperating with me today. Usually I can just pull these right off without any problem, but for some reason this batch of Stampin' Dimensionals are going to be a little ornery. Okay. Alrighty. And then we're going to just lay that down right there. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be best to glue it, put that glitter glue on last, so you have time for it to dry after everything's been attached. So, lesson learned, okay? I thought it would be smarter to do it the other way, and nope, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this here, and then this Happy Holidays goes on top of that. And there you go. There you have your glittery card. Pretty neat, huh? All right, let's do the second one. And uh, this time I'll do the gluing last. Let's see, we need this card. And I am going to put... I need the Merry Christmas stamp. I believe I have another block here. And then I need this cut out here and it looks like I have one other one this one okay it looks like that's all I need is those pieces so let's look at card number two so we can see how it is made first we're going to stamp our Merry Christmas 
So it does show that we need one of these white tags again and also one of the glittery tags. So I'm going to grab both of those right away. Okay. So first we're going to stamp our sentiment. Merry Christmas. Okay, we're going to first take this piece and we're going to put our stamp and dimensionals on the, that just as it's shown here in the picture. Oh, I have some ink on my hand somewhere. Oh, my thumb. Okay. Um, one there and one there. And then this piece also gets dimensionals. Okay. okay, it looks like this one's going to fit here, and this one will go right on top of that one. So let's go at it. This will really make the card a 3D image with all of these pop-ups here. Again, it fits from side to side, from end to end, so you should be able to just put it in place and not worry about centering it or anything like that. And two more to go here. Oh no, I got my <sighs> fingerprints all over this, but you know what? I think I'm going to be able to hide it because of what I just see. All right, let's put um, some glue dots on here and you'll get to see the magic of hiding something, a mistake that you may have made. <laughs> So one thing I like about crafting, you can always fix it somehow. I thought I had gotten the ink off when I rubbed it my hand, but I guess not. All right. We're going to lay this right here, just like it shows in the picture. Voila! It's gone. All right. And then we're going to put two dimensionals down here. and our Merry Christmas. And then we get to put the glitter on again. And again, it just wraps around the ends of the roof. Well, it helps if you take the cover off too. <laughs> okay. Just kind of outline the roof. That's all you have to do. And when that dries, it's going to look really 
nice and snowy. Sparkly snow. Okay, and then, oh, yep, it shows it on these two roofs, too. And there we go. That takes care of that card. And uh, we'll let that dry. And you can see it has the sparkle with it to make it a really cute card. And those are the two cards that have come. Those are the two styles of cards that have come in our paper. Uh, yeah last month's paper pumpkin and so I am looking forward to getting this next one I know it's on its way I just don't know when it's going to arrive yet and like I said I'm hoping it will be here by the end of the week so that I can show it to you for the simple Sunday but uh, until then here we go I hope that you have a very happy Thanksgiving if you're interested in purchasing a paper pumpkin get subscribed to get a monthly kit um, be sure to go to my shop you can uh, look under shop all products and go down the menu to uh, kits paper pumpkin and you can sign up there I would love to be able to be your demonstrator for these activities as well uh, my shop is creating cards with sherry at dot stampin up dot net and um, I would love to be able to help you out there. So anyway, have a great Thanksgiving. I will see you Sunday for my Simple Sunday video. Bye now.